Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on my channel. In this video, I am going to share my experience of visiting the oldest markets in Western Australia. The Fremantle Markets is a public market located in Fremantle, Western Australia. It was built in 1897 and operating over 125 years. It houses over 150 shops for craftspeople, fashion designers and merchants in the historic hall and fresh food producers, vegetable growers and food retailers in the yard. It is open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday as well as most public holidays and is a popular Fremantle tourist destination. This video will be a tour around the markets and it is definitely going to be interesting. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos and let's get into this video. Fremantle Markets are located in a coastal town called Fremantle in Western Australia and the market runs in an old building and a yard next to it. The old building is architecturally designed well and you can see the name of the markets here and few other details around the building in all the entrances. I went through one of the entrances and the first shop I saw was a retail clothes shop. You can see a lot of freestyle clothes, hanging fabric paintings, scarves and blankets in that shop. There were also many ornaments for women sold by them. Inside the building was a lot of different markets and super busy with a lot of people. Also, inside the hole in the ground, I found some artworks of Australian Aboriginal people. The second shop I saw was selling some cooking utensils and home appliances made of wood. They looked very crafty and creative. The next shop was selling some beauty products made of turmeric. Next to the turmeric shop was a shop selling jewels and sculptures made of gold and silver alloys. There were a variety of products in different shapes and sizes. Next to that shop is a shop had a huge variety of body and personal care products. There were a lot of different varieties of soap bars in different fragrances. There were also products like shower gel, shampoo, body lotions and creams in different fragrances and aromas. All those products were locally produced and that shop smelled amazingly with all their products. The next shop was a coffee shop. There were different kinds of freshly produced coffee beans were displayed in Hessian sacks. There were flavors like caramel, hazelnut, chocolate mold, French vanilla, butterscotch and many in that shop and they allowed us to pick any flavor by experiencing the aroma of them. I tested them and chose to buy two flavors, black forest and smooth hazelnut. The retailer also told me that they are the best selling ones. Next to the coffee shop, I saw a fresh fruit juice shop. They were selling juices and smoothies for $6 and $9. There were also a variety of Turkish sweets and ice cream in one of the shops there.
Herb Spice Tea Shop had a lot of different flavored tea powders and I was quite surprised to see how many varieties they have had. There was also a shop which was selling different kinds of caps and hats. Coming past that is a shop with different kinds of colorful candles and perfumes. There was also a toy shop for kids in the markets and they were selling toys like Lego to improve the creativity of the kids. This Fremantle markets had a lot of different varieties of shops. I also saw shops sell dresses, decorative items for houses, bags, shoes, kids fancy dresses and many more. In one of the shops there, there were a lot of beautiful paintings for sale. Belief in the evil eye is ancient and ubiquitous. It occurred in ancient Greece and Rome and it has persisted throughout the world into modern times. I saw a shop in the market selling different kinds of evil eye stones and lamps. It is believed that this symbol will give you spiritual protection and brings good luck. Handmade Pen Shop is a shop where they customize and print your name on a handmade pen. They had a range of different kinds of pens and I chose one to get my name printed on it. As a memory of visiting that place, I bought that and it was really a good handiwork. There were also a shop selling different kinds of ornaments and jewels like earrings, bangles, rings, bracelets and nose pins. Another shop was selling beautiful reusable candles. They were packed in bead sand in different colors and they looked very beautiful as well. Finishing all those shops, I went to the next section where I found the food shops. The first shop was a Japanese shop and they were selling sushi and other famous Japanese food items. I bought a chicken nigiri and a sushi. Chicken nigiri is made of a fried chicken piece, is tied onto sushi rice with seaweed and seasoned with sesame seeds, vinegar and mayonnaise. I tasted it and it tasted very nice, especially the sauce flavor. The next one I tried was the avocado and salmon sushi. It tasted very fresh, raw and not a bad choice either. In Australia, you can find different cuisines in any markets regardless of the city. Fremantle markets also had a lot of different food shops and juice shops. Walking past some of the food shops, I saw a shop called D&K Cupcakes, where I found a lot of colorful and beautiful cupcakes. They were also selling mini cupcakes, one for $2.75 and four for $10. Can I have one cupcake, please? Yeah, Just for taste one. Which is the best one? Well, I don't really have to speak to it, but this is very good. Okay. Ah, oh, it's chocolate brownie. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy that one. Yep. 275. Yep. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. After the suggestion from the shopkeeper, I bought the best-selling chocolate brownie cupcake and tasted it. It was actually good, very sweet and rich in chocolate flavor. In the next section, I found few shops which were selling fresh fruits and vegetables. Artisan Dow is a bakery you can find inside the markets. There were a variety of food items like bread, bun, cake, brownie, donuts, pies and pastries in that bakery. They all were freshly baked and being sold there. There were also a couple of flower shops in the markets. As it was summertime, there were not many flowers displayed and I reckon there will be more beautiful and colorful flowers sold during the winter season. Row 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 is a shop which was selling gluten-free organic vegetables and they had a variety of fresh products. There was also an Indian food stall in the markets. They had rice and curry, samosa, puffs, roti and other authentic Indian food items. The last shop I found in the markets is a very interesting place. It is called as Rugenic and that shop was selling fresh juices produced from locally sourced fruits and flowers. Australian indigenous people used to live with nature and they consumed a lot of natural products like fruits, flowers, stems, yams from the bush. Following their traditions and culture, Rugenic brand was established and they sell bush foods and drinks. These drinks are well known for their health and well-being benefits. So this is full and full nature, natural products. Yeah, they're all caffeine free and they have native Australian bush ingredients. Oh, okay. That's better. Yeah. They had few varieties of drinks. I tried a few and chose to get a drink called Native Happiness. It was well decorated and given to me. The taste of that drink was supernatural. I felt the juiciness and taste of the fruit nectar when I had that and it was super cool and calming. I also had a lamb samosa bought from the Indian shop with that juice. The samosa was made with lamb meat, potatoes well mixed with masala and wrapped around processed flour and it was deep fried in oil. The samosa was average, but the rugenic juice was excellent. After completing my drink and samosa, I came outside the markets and saw there were still a lot of people keep coming inside. It is a well-known place in Western Australia and if you are visiting Perth or WA, you should definitely come to experience these markets and the products they sell. With that being said, our video comes to an end and I hope you would have enjoyed this video. If you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more like this. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.